How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Dragon Faber video and for the last episode we actually uh, went off course a little bit to go ahead and do the Mogloween quest line because uh, Mogloween is now in season. Okay so for today uh, instead of doing Mogloween again we are going uh, back to the Op Saga and uh, continuing where we left off. So the last time we actually went to check out the Darkness Orb which is at the Necropolis so that's where we are going to go back and finish up the quest line over here. Okay, so some of you guys have also asked me to go ahead and use guesses because they are going to help speed up the process and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to add uh, Artix as friend A, okay. Uh, for now, I don't think I will need to invite anyone else. Of course you can. No, actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and invite another guest over here and I'll show you guys where you can get this really good guest. So you want to go to book 3, uh, is it green? Guard? I cannot remember the shears. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we want to head on over to the shears. And you want to go all the way up in here. And uh, quests. Oh, wait, we can't add him yet. We can't add Sir Leon yet. Oh, you actually need to complete the quests first. Okay. Right, never mind, I guess we'll just uh, stick with Artix, that's pretty much good enough in my opinion. Okay, so of course you should get two guesses, there's no point in just getting one if you really want to use guesses, but for today's episode, we'll be playing around with one guess, that is Artix, okay? So, the gatekeeper. Now that Zorbek gave us his student ID card, the gates of the Necropolis are opening for us. You have to get down there past their guards and see if we can figure out what the Necromancers are planning. So, let's go. Oh god, the stupid wings are blocking. Oh wait. I... Oh, the height is for DA holders only. Alright, so let's unequip that so I can read the dialogue. I still can't believe you are going to try to get into the Necropolis with Zorbeck's student ID card. <laughs> what is there to worry about? Well, it's expired for starters. And he was apparently expelled, and he has a picture of a blue Moglin on it. No problem at all, my friend. We can solve this the same way we justify all the plot holes and bugs in this game. Artix, speaking <laughs> the truth, finally <laughs> telling us uh, what we've been wondering the whole time, guys. Yes, <laughs> how do we do that? Magic. There's one problem I have not been able to figure out yet though. There are two of us, but we have we only have one student ID card. Well, do you want to wait outside? This is a joke, right? Hmm, I have an idea. How you know a lot about the undead, right? Just follow my lead. Okay. Must resist urge to vanquish evil. Ho, who dares enter the necropolis? This I um um Zorbek, the greatest necromancer in the land. And my well armored undead minion Artix. Nudge. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, 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 uh, ah, e ew, um, brains, big smile, let me see your student ID card, sure, sure, here you go, you do not look like your pictures are back, yeah, that's because of, you know, magic, oh, well, yes, that is understandable, wait, this student ID card says that you have been expelled, magic, hmm, yes, I see, <laughs> they'll explain it, <laughs> what, <laughs> what the heck, but this card is also expired, magic, Ah yes, that happens all the time. Okay, you may enter. Welcome to the Necropolis, Zorbek. <laughs> Thank you, let's go my undead minion. Certainly, let us just walk right past these undead monsters. Without attacking them even a little bit. Artix, are you alright? Yes, I just... Just need to, to... To rid the world of these servants of evil. Attack. No, you silly fool. Why? Ah... Uh... Artix, you just had to ruin it for all of us. Hey, there's only... Wait. There's only... I thought there were two. There's supposed to be one more, right? Oh god, did I get stuck? Damn it! Oh, okay, I'm sick. Oh, okay. Yeah, so for some very weird reason, one of them got stuck. Let's go ahead and take out the individual ones first. Uh, let's do ultimate combo light attack. Okay, one guy's almost down. Okay, miss. That's good. Yeah, I think baby dragon can take care of that guy. Uh, for this other one, this one we can do rapid. 
Then uh, Dragon will take this guy out. Wait, will the dot be enough? I don't know, but never mind. Uh, oh, we can do this. Attack all foes. Okay. And let's do Troll. Attack. <clears throat> and we'll just kill this guy. Nice. Okay, last guy left. The Gatekeeper. Ooh, 78. Alright, so weak to light, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It still use fire to deal with him. Let's try and stun him. Forgot to see his immobility resist. I guess he has none. Let's cut his light resistance. Not sure what that does, but yeah, does that actually do anything? No, I don't think so. Oh well. All right, nice. Phew, that was close. Yes, it was. I'm very sorry. I just could not help myself. Yes, Artix, you and your OCD. Damn it, you almost screwed us over. That's okay. I knew that we were in for. Oh god, the head too. In for better, I just didn't think it would be that soon. Oh great, even the hair? Really? I hear a lot of movement below, perhaps something else is going on. Oh, and this is Noxus, right? And... Yes, the army is almost complete. The world shall be wrapped in the eternal embrace of darkness. Hear me, denizens of the necropolis. I applaud your skill and effort, but we have little time left to complete our most grand project. An army of 100 million undead, unlike anything the world has ever seen before. I expect every necromancer in the necropolis to redouble their efforts. Especially you, necromancers. As you desire, master, just so long as you hold up your end of the bargain and return my brother to me. Look at them, thousands of loyal soldiers for sepulture. Your skill continues to impress me. However, as my top student, your recent defeat in Moon Ridge is quite unsettling. I expect you to redeem yourself by making an example of those two meddling heroes with your latest creations. Now my student, all my students, back to work. Sepulcher's flying castle will be here soon, and Sepulcher expects an army almost twice this size. Sepulcher is raising an undead of 100 million undead. Raising an army of 100 million undead. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We jump down there and take out 15 million undead each. Whoa, you were thinking what I was thinking. <laughs> No, Artix, no, for the love of God. We need to destroy the ones they have created and stop them from making more. Just the two of us versus an entire underground city of the walking dead. It'll be a slaughter. That is the spirit. No, my slaughter. Two heroes against the whole army? Yes, two heroes against this army of darkness. I've always wanted to fight a desperate battle against incredible odds. Looks like you're going to get your chance, Artix. Now, if only we had a map. Oh look, there is one conveniently printed on the back of this Necromancy University student handbook. Necro you handbook. Nice. Live the undead dream. We would love to show you the next greatest undead monster. The only problem is you have not made it yet. Necro doom you. Get your degree online in thaumaturgy with a minor in summoning. Enjoy special extracurricular activities including hurling waves of undead soldiers at the town of Falcon Reach. First year students receive Necronomicon with enrollment and um free something. Interesting. <laughs> There's a whole lot of undead right there. If Noxus is able to hand off their army to Sepulcher, Falcon Reach and the rest of Law will fall into darkness. You have to think of a way to stop him. Yes, and we get an undead Slayer badge. Oh, wait a minute. Why is Artix automatically uninvited? Uh, the body shop. Now that we have a map of the necropolis, we can really do some damage to those necromancers. Our first stop is the place they call the body shop. Yes. Uh, okay, according to the map on the book of the Necro U handbook, this area is called the body shop. There's no time to look for lufas and body wash that smells like fruit artics. There is always time for personal hygiene, but it is not that kind of body shop. There's Okay, according to the handbook, this is where they have their build a beast war shop. You mean workshop? Uh, I'm looking at my keyboard right now. Uh, K 
K and H. Yeah, okay, they are pretty near each other. And I guess they missed out the H on the shop as well. Oh, it's worth 4 credits. This semester will be cake. <laughs> if we can get into the workshop, then we should be able to destroy the foul methods they used to make some of their monsters. Sabotage. Now, this is my kind of quest. All we need to do is to get inside without being noticed. Then we can take out the necromancer who runs the workshop and vanish without a trace. We should try to avoid drawing any attention to ourselves. Says the guy who could have walked past the guards but felt the need to destroy them instead. Yeah, we are in luck. The necromancer is by himself. Good, that means we can do this quickly and quietly with no lights, please. Oops. Standing up in front of class with no idea what's going on. I think I've had this nightmare before. At least I'm fully dressed this time. Too much information. <laughs> there must be less than 50 of them. We can take them. I don't think that's a great idea. If we blow our cover, we might never get back down into, our, into the necropolis. Yeah, but, but, Sai, oh fine. And that concludes the lecture portion of the class. Now I will need a few volunteers for the lab portion. How about the new guys? No. I beg your pardon? Uh, we missed the lecture. Maybe you should pick someone else. No, I think this will help you remember to get to class on time. May I be excused? I need to use the restroom. You should have thought of that on your way to class. Can I go to the nurse's office? <laughs> I feel sick. Hmm, yes you may. Really? Certainly, we get most of our body part donations from the nurse's office. I'm feeling better. Excellent, then let's get to the lesson, shall we? Okay, for safety reasons, we'll watch you from outside the lab. Safety reasons? Eventually, young necromancers, you'll learn to create... Uh, create you mean create another typo here creatures using your own dark powers. However, for now we'll use the university's S and M simplified necromantic monster matic. All the control that you need are uh, right in front of you. Use the creature claw to grab the three spare parts from the part pit. As you grab them, the three spare parts will show up in the reviver jars located against the wall. Once you have all three parts, use the S and M to create your monster, and we'll see what you come up with. That sounds easy enough. Oh, be careful! Sometimes the claw will grab an undead monster that is still partially functional. They will try and attack you. Just use your ability to command the undead to drive them back into the pit. That could be a problem. Oh boy. And be very careful in that the SNM is not cheap. If we damage the lab, we will slow down monster production for Sepulcher. Where do you want to grab a part from? Uh, let's go upper left. Found a part. Okay. Lower left. Nice, so we need one more, upper right or lower right? Let's go lower right. Nope, not lower right, should have just gone upper right. Okay, so we should be able to one shot this guy. Easy. One HP, come on. Uh, Lower, upper right. Wait. No? Oh. Okay. Huh. Upper left again? Nope. Okay, wait, is it? Oh, it's not in a set place. I guess it's completely random whether you get a part or not, I guess. Lower left? This has to be it, right? Nice. All three parts need a shog off. Okay, uh, weak to water, that's good for our baby dragon over here. So I'm going to do troll. Let's do stun. We can lower enemy light resist. <coughs> uh, let's do rapid. Lash. Combo. Yep, this is pretty easy. Yep, final. And blinding light. Okay, nice. That little battle of yours totally destroyed this lab. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. The creature had to be destroyed, was out of. Oh god damn it, again, seriously. It was out of. Oh, I still can't read it. Damn. Of course it was, you were supposed to be controlling it. Master Noxus will not be pleased, but there's nothing we can do about it. This lab was very expensive, you'll be hearing from the necro you, you... what? Something department? Now let me see your student ID. A few weeks later... 
Man, a letter from the school. What do those losers want? What? This is a bill for how much? <laughs> oh, man. Well done. You defeated your very own build a beast and destroyed the body shop in the process. You have slowed down production of the undead army, but Sepulcher is still on his way. Okay, another one. Okay, and I sort of want to try out uh, the, the challenge here, so that's what we'll do. TA challenge, side quest. We may only get once, once and our typo, chance to defeat this evil. We need to know more about what is going on down there. Since I cannot seem to control myself around those monsters, I need to sneak back down and see what you can find out. Does Artix automatically get removed? No. You there, student, don't I know you? Uh, no, I just transferred in from... um. Necromancy state. Ah, our ancient sports rival, the fighting corpses. Between you and me, I don't see what the big deal is. Zombies don't make very good brain ball players. Sure, they can take a hit, but they just don't run very fast. Anyway, I need a student assistant for my current project. I reworked the Doom Crawler. I need to test his power level. Select the highest difficulty level that you think you can handle and try to defeat it. If you do well, I'll reward your efforts with extra credit and maybe an item. Uh, yeah, so there's uh some of the, like, what was I about to say? There is this item that you can get that weakens the monster. Is it called Malefax Doom or something like that? I can't remember about what the item is, but one uh having one of the items in your inventory severely cripples the monster. So let's try the uh tough battle. Yep, let's try that. 1539. Can we take out this guy though? Hmm. Okay, he hits pretty hard, so we are going to do days first. Uh, let's do Lash. Wait. Let's lower the light resist. <coughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, immobility 500. Whoops, I forgot. Okay, I don't think we can take on this guy though. We'll try our best. Combo. It's going to be close. Let's see. Will I be able to beat the tough crawler? 90. Hmm. I think there's a chance. There might be a chance. Uh, we can still do our blind and our shield skill even if we can't stun him. So I guess that's alright. <clears throat> okay. Final. Not doing a whole lot of damage though, but that's fine. Uh, let's do restore. Okay. Oof. Yeah, if he does that, we are literally dead. Rapid. Uh, I'm going to do attack. 87. Wow. Okay, let's do smoke. <coughs> Flash. Nice, we blocked it. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty close battle. Lock again, very nice. Please do not do that laser beam attack. If he does the laser beam attack, I'm probably dead. And of course. Oh! Uh, let's try hard. Can we do hard? There's no Arctic this time, so maybe he won't do as much damage. Uh, let's do smoke first. Let's go a bit more defensive this time. Okay. Uh, troll. I think we should be able to take this guy on. Yeah, I think cause with Arctic, uh, he was just doing like way too much damage. Because if you have a guess, they do uh, deal increased damage. Let's see. Miss, that's good. Uh, let's see here. Let's do blind. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it's auto inflict though. That kind of suck. Yeah, the dot is auto inflicted. Uh, oh well. 
Wrap it. <coughs> Lash again. Yeah, we've already caught up with him in terms of HP, but uh, we still can't confirm the victory yet because there is a good chance that he can nuke with that stupid beam attack. So we really gotta be careful here. Uh, what do I want to do now? Troll? I think we should be fine. Let's see. Wrap it. Let's heal up. Hopefully we don't get one shotted. No, okay, I think we are fine. Yeah, we, we can take guy take down this guy. Oh come on. Really? Are you kidding me? I swear to god. Okay, I am definitely winning this. Nice. Uh, reward. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, we have some level 10 weapons, but... Whew. Uh, these items are hella expensive, so am I going to get them? No, definitely not. 2200 for the darkness one. Mm, yeah, I think I'll pass. Okay, so we did one challenge, uh, just to show you guys that it can be done. Okay, so we'll add Arctics and then let's continue the next set of quests. Too many cooks. The necromancers are cooking up something horrible and we have to stop them. There's a section of the necropolis that is called the Ice Crematorium, <laughs> which doubles as the university cafeteria and evil food laboratories. I'm not sure what their plans are, but it is something big. This will bring us one step closer to taking down the necropolis. Let's go. This is the entrance to the ice crematorium. <laughs> There's a lot of activity surrounding this place and I can feel the evil from inside, but how can we find out their plans? I have an idea that just might work. Hey you, me? Yeah, what are they doing in the ice crematorium? Oh, they have found out a way to make zombie food and vegetables <laughs> using a magical soup and they plan on infecting all of Doomwood. There won't be a single farmer's market or taco stand left once they attack. They are mass producing the broth and testing the food monsters inside. Thanks, no problem. Why did I not think of that? We've got to get in there and spoil every single cauldron of uh, that soup, I guess. Sinister soup. Yeah, and you know, like chicken and morning stars. Snug. Snug? Don't you mean smug? Man, there are a lot of typos, I have to say. This is serious. These food zombies could be a real threat. <laughs> None of the living bread zombies walking around. Grains. <laughs> Grains? Oh, man. I said to God, the early game puns uh, had a painful... <laughs> Okay, okay, I get it. I think I might have just the weapon for this task. Great, let's see it. Holy Arctic brand wasabi. Holy wasabi, you just carry that around with you. Yeah, I cannot get enough of this stuff. I put it on everything. But you just have to use but you have to use just the right amount and it ruins the whole meal. That sounds perfect. Let's get to it. Nice. I, I like a good wasabi too. Though I never tried holy wasabi, obviously. Nice, that was easy. <clears throat> okay, so there's quite a lot of different rooms we have to go through. Uh, let's try and lay out as much damage as possible. Can we? Oh wait, this carries over between battles? What in the world? I actually did not know that. Yeah, what the heck? It carries over between battles. Okay, that's a full heal there, but we won't really need it. Let's go down. Let's continue going right. Devil Dog. Yeah, I definitely remember this quest uh, back in the day. It was a really... It was quite a nostalgic quest for sure. The Necropolis, you know, Arctics. His silly puns, not so much because we didn't really bother reading the story back when we were younger. But yeah, revisiting this now, a lot, a lot of nostalgia. Seeing the old monster, seeing the, you know, the place in general. Very, very nostalgic for me. What do you guys think? Is it nostalgic for you guys too? Okay, this is not the right place. I think I probably have to go all the way up or something like that. Okay, 
okay easy uh we can drink that to recover but we don't really need it yet so i'm going to save it for later uh when we really need it i don't really think we'll need it on this quest but you know just in case <coughs> Okay, wrap it. Unbred zombie. Oh, and of course, <laughs> that's the spinning bread attack. Wow, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if we are going the right way. I'm just going randomly. Yeah, I can't remember what's the right way for this one. I mean, you will eventually reach the end. I think it's somewhere on the top floor, on one of the end rooms. So, you know, just try going randomly until you reach the end. Nine HP, come on. Oh, okay. Looks like there's going to be more. It's not over yet. Lash. Okay, easy. That cauldron should be left until last. Wait, how many cauldrons are there? Oh, and Arctic is also out of MP. Wow, I actually didn't realize that. Okay, so let's get him to drink an MP pot. Huh, so there's more than... Wait, is this the cauldron? I actually don't know because I cannot remember much. Uh, about how you complete the quest. I do remember the place and the monsters, but in regards to how you complete the quest, yeah, I don't exactly remember. Is that the cauldron that you're supposed to do? The ones on the corners? The large test tube? That's not exactly a cauldron, right? Nope, it's not it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, now I'm just wandering around aimlessly. The good news is we will probably level up before the end of this quest, hopefully. Yeah, do you guys think we can level up before the end of this quest? I think we can. Another two more kerosene here. Okay. Yeah, okay, there's one. Uh death by chocolate. Combo. Okay, add wasabi. Wasabi. Three left. Wait, there's three left? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Oh god. Okay, yeah, I think we might have. Oh, okay. Okay, there's another one. Yeah, so they're all on the left hand side. Okay, now I know. And now you guys know as well, so you don't have to go through the same thing that I went through. Just to explore all of it. Okay, so that's the second one, and then the third one should be the one that they said uh, is on the top floor or something like that, right? So I'm going to get Artix to drink another MP pot, and we'll drink one uh, outside of the battle. Yeah. Wait, two left? Oh, wait, okay, hold on. So there's one more. Uh, is it here? Please tell me it's here. Nope. Okay, it's probably here. Yeah, we haven't explored this area. 
Actually, did I even really need to drink that health pot? I think I'll probably level up, right? There we are, the last, uh, the second last one, sorry. The last one is on the, all the way on the top floor, the one that we walked past just now. Okay, nice. One left. Let's just drink this. Oh, this heals Arctic too. Wow, I actually didn't know that. Oh, that's nice. And there we are, the last one. King Burger. Okay, uh, 15 resistance to light. That's alright. Lower his life resist. You can do blinding light. Okay. Let's do troll. And now we do final. Nice, a crit. Okay. Oh, whoops. I should have done rapid. Oopsies. Clicked a little too fast there. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Easy, nice. And the last one, the King Burger has fallen. Now that the evil food corruption broth has been ruined by Artixus, holy wasabi doomwood is safe from giant evil food. Yes, indeed. And how many do we have now? Five. We can use it to train the Paladin armor as well as the Necromancer armor uh, later on. Okay, not now. Alright, probably in a future episode we'll do that. And yeah, I think we'll wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. GG next time, I'm your host Karban Gaming. Peace out.